Hello, welcome to today's episode of Jared Reviews Things You Didn't Ask For But Might Weirdly Be Interested In. Hosted by me, I'm Jared. If you are new to the channel, uh, I'm a lifestyle photographer and YouTuber from Louisiana, and I shoot daily vlogs as of 75 days ago, something 74, 75, I've lost track. I shoot daily vlogs. Now, if you are new to the channel, you're probably thinking to yourself, this doesn't seem very much like a daily vlog. You know, I don't have the bendy tripod right now or, or whatever. That's because this video is not really going to follow the same format as a vlog. Let me explain. The title of this video is Reviewing La Colombe's Draft Lattes. Now, to the people who are clicking on this video to watch me review the draft lattes, I don't wanna waste your time. I did shoot a vlog today. I shot a lot of footage this morning. I shot footage of me leaving my house and going to my favorite coffee shop. Friday morning, going to get some coffee. Then once I was there, I had a latte and I did a little bit of work on my computer. And then I got a text from my wife saying that a package has showed up at our house. Kaylee just sent me a, a text a moment ago saying that I had a package at the house and it was kind of heavy. I think I know what it is. And then I got home and found the package and it was the La Colombe Draft Latte and Cold Brews. Oop. La Colombe. And then I called a couple of friends to try and see if any of them would be interested in reviewing them with me, but they were all busy. Then I stuck the lattes in the fridge to let them chill. That was probably two hours ago. And that brings us to right now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, we're, we're gonna try one of them. Now, two things that are really important to know, uh, they sent me two separate drinks, the Draft Vanilla Latte and the cold brew with milk and sugar. I'm just gonna be trying the draft vanilla latte in this video. I'll probably try the cold brew in tomorrow's vlog or something like that. But I don't wanna crack both of these open and try both of these right now because I don't wanna waste one or the other and there's no chance I'm gonna drink both of these right now. So uh, we're just gonna be trying the draft vanilla latte. If you wanna see me try the cold brew with milk and sugar, be sure to tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m. for tomorrow's vlog where I will be trying this. Also, the second thing that's really important to note, they are chilled, but they're not cold. Not like cold, cold like I would prefer them to be. So uh, that might slightly bias my opinion, but you know, we'll see. Lastly, a quick disclaimer. La Colombe did send me these coffees for free. I saw an ad for them on my Instagram, so I reached out and said, yo, let's work together, and they sent me some drinks to try out. Very excited, but I will be 1,000% honest in this video. If the coffees are not great, I will tell you that they are not great. All right, enough chit chat, let's try the coffee. So the draft lattes come with this little, uh, can you see that? It's this little like plastic tab on top. I would imagine that just pulls off. Oh, hmm. it's pretty easy. So the description on the can says, foamy nitrous infused milk plus cold brew. The ingredients are reduced fat milk, cold pressed coffee, filtered water plus 100% Arabica coffee. I think I'm saying that right. Am I saying Arabica? Am I saying that right? Cane sugar and acacia, vanilla extract with other natural flavors, sodium phosphates, lactase enzyme, gel and gum, and vitamin D3. Also, this can is, according to the little uh, description right there, the equivalent of one and a half cups of coffee. Ooh. All right. Ooh, it smells really good. All right, so there is a pretty significant layer of foam on top. Very, very strong scent of vanilla. Some other spices maybe. Um, not sure if there's cinnamon in this or not, but I, I there's a little bit of like, I'm gonna smell like a hint of cinnamon. It smells fantastic. All right, let's try it. Hmm. I'm gonna go for a second sip. First things first. That is fantastic. That is absolutely delicious. I'm not just saying that like, I genuinely mean that is fantastic. It's very, very coffee. -y. Esque. 
Like it's not like the vanilla is overpowering the coffee and it's just a lot of vanilla and no coffee. It's definitely, it's noticeably cold brew. Like it's got that kind of like warm, almost smoky bite that you get with cold brew. The vanilla is really just there to accent the flavors that are natively in the cold brew, or at least I would imagine they are. They complement each other really well. Whatever they're using for their vanilla is just, oh, that is so good. Here's something that I kind of want and I was expecting, but I'm not really getting. I was expecting the texture of the drink as a whole to be a little thicker, a little creamier. The drink is creamy, it's just, I guess kind of like if you've ever had a latte with whole milk or even a latte with like half and half, it has that nice, thick, rich, just like coat your mouth, just mm, punch of texture. I'm not really getting that with this, but it doesn't bother me, it's just, I get, hmm. It doesn't bother me. It's not something that like it absolutely has to have. I guess it was just something I was somewhat expecting and didn't really get, so I'm just kind of, you know. Wow, that is so good. Also, there's only 100 calories in one of these cans. As somebody who's trying to take my health more seriously as of not that long ago, but as somebody who's trying to take my health more seriously, that's important to me. Oh, it's lactose free. There's no lactose. Maybe they used a milk alternative. It says reduced fat milk. Maybe that's why it's not getting that thickness that I'm looking for. So all in all, where do I stand with the vanilla draft latte from La Colombe? It's two very, very blatant thumbs up from me. If you're new to the channel, something that's really important for you to know is I have a very extensive background as a barista, both as a hobby and as a job. I thoroughly enjoy coffee and coffee science and learning more about extraction methods and the way coffee is grown and harvested and where it's grown and harvested and I like trying new cafes. I'm, I'm a really, really, really big coffee person and I'm very particular and I'm oftentimes very difficult to please. But this is just, mmm. Anyways, all right, I'm going to call this episode and this vlog here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please make it a point to like the video, to comment, and to subscribe. Uh, I'd really love if you're new to the channel for you to go watch my, my daily vlogs. I upload a video every single day at 4 p.m. and it would really mean a lot to me if you'd stick around and maybe watch some of those. Like, comment, subscribe, all those fun things. You guys are fantastic. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. I'll be there. See you there, bye.